So I recently got my French driver's license um, and I had to do a couple of hours of training in you know, one of those like student cars because um, the rules here are different than in the United States where I'm from. And I wanted to visualize where I was driving because my driving instructor had said, hey, the final test is gonna be in this particular area of the city. So all of our practice driving routes are gonna be around that particular area. So you become familiar with that area. And since I just moved to this city about a year ago, um, I've been you know, wanting to get a better lay of the land. So on today's episode of Monday Maps, I'm going to be visualizing these routes. I recorded them, I recorded a few, I think five, um, and I have these GPX files. I'm gonna bring those into Adobe After Effects and create some animated maps using the GLairs 3 plugin. Okay, so I'm inside of Adobe After Effects. I've got GLairs 3 open. Uh, the first thing I want to do is bring in some of these data files. Now, as I said before, I recorded these on the Strava app from my phone. So I'm over here at Strava's website and under training my activities, I can see all the recordings that I made. So I'm going to click on one here and then this little button over here, I can click on this and select export GPX. And then inside of GeoLayers, there's a little plus icon here. I'm going to click on this import file and I've actually already downloaded all the GPX files here. I'll grab this one, click OK, and if I double click on it, it's gonna automatically zoom in on the route, give me a preview of the route. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. So here's kind of like the center of the city, and I'm gonna go ahead and create a new map comp. I'll call it My Driving Routes, and I'll make it uh, Ultra HD 4K, and I'm gonna make it 60 seconds. Timing for these animations is gonna be kind of important, but we'll get into that in just a minute. So I'm gonna click on next. And for map comp imagery, um, I'm gonna go ahead and use Esri because that should be available to everyone, even if you don't have the Map Tyler Plus data plan. There's also this Map Tyler Lite, but the road options are just uh, not so great for that one. This is gonna create the map comp, get everything all set up. So if you're new to GeoLayers, um, you're gonna notice it's really low res. So to look at it in its high res version or to download the actual high res uh, map tile imagery, you have to click on the finalize button. And if you hold control, you can just finalize one particular frame, which helps a lot. Okay, so that's what our final kind of map will look like. But I'm gonna go up here, click on the settings button of this particular map comp, and then under edit imagery, there's a style drop-down menu for Esri, and I'm gonna choose gray canvas. Okay, that's more focused on the roads. However, it's super uh, kind of washed out and you can't see much. So a lot of the times when I'm working on animations, I'll apply effects to the uh, main map comp here. So I'm gonna apply a curves effect. Like if I wanna desaturate it, it's easy to do that and then make all of your elements pop real quick. So I'm just gonna grab the curves effect and uh, maybe bring this down to just make those roads start to stand out. Uh, if you're working with the Map Tyler data plan, you get a ton of advanced uh, imagery options. So you can go into the roads, you can turn the roads off, you know, go in and edit everything in a really, really advanced level. So that's why I'm doing it this way so that just everyone can follow along and even, even if you don't have that premium plan. Okay, so now I can see the spaghetti route of roads here. And what I, the way I want to visualize this is I want to have little map marker icons and I want them animating along the routes all at the same time. So you can see how fast each one's going. And I'm going to use markers from today's sponsor, Envato Elements. With a subscription to Envato Elements, you get access to over 56 million assets, including all kinds of content you might want to use if you're creating a map animation or a still map. They have uh, motion graphics templates, they have stock video. You can find any country you want with the boundaries. If you want to create a cool animation of a specific country, it's available in Envato. If you want an animated map marker, if you're looking for some 3D map markers, they offer a nice and clean, simple lifetime commercial license, which is good even after your subscription ends. Following the link in the video description is going to give you 50% off when you select an annual subscription, which will give you access to everything on the site for under $20 a month. So over here on Envato Elements, if you go to Graphics, and you just type in Map Marker, there's a bunch of cool options. And I'm going to grab this one here, High Quality Solid Icons. You can see right here, there is a car icon. Okay, so I've opened this up in Illustrator, and now I'm just going to simply bring this over into After Effects here using the power of Overlord. Okay, that just brings it in as the shape element. 
um, I want to create this. Uh, I want to create a custom label template for this. That way, GeoLayers can take it and use it and geographically place the label and animate it as um, you know at our heart's content. So to do that, I need to create a new comp. So I'm gonna pre-comp this, and I'll call it Car Icon. And then I'm gonna open up this comp. You can see this tiny little icon here. I'm just gonna change the composition settings to something real, real small. 600 by 600 pixels doesn't need to be big. You know what? I'm gonna leave. I think I want to go for a really small icon, so I'm gonna leave this as is. One thing that I am gonna do is I'm gonna change the the anchor point. So I think if I grab the anchor point tool and I just snap that to the bottom there, and then kind of center that up. Okay, so I've got this car icon uh, comp now, and I can see it over here in my project panel. What I need to do to make this a label template that GeoLayers can use, I need to open up the GeoLayers 3 items folder, and then here you see label templates. If I just drop that car icon into label templates, that's all I gotta do. Now, if I go over to the GeoLayers 3 panel and open this up, it's gonna show up under label templates. These are all label templates. And you can see the new one that I created right here is car icon. And I'm gonna delete this one because this one's not geo-referenced. Uh, so what I need to do now is I'm gonna animate my first route. So I'm gonna grab the route GPX file here. I can see it here. I'm gonna to go to the label templates. I'm gonna select car icon. And now I'm gonna go click on this label features button. And there's two options. I could just add a label or I can animate the label along the feature, which is exactly what I wanna do. And it's important where your playhead is at this moment because it's gonna add a bunch of keyframes based off of the data in the, in the GPX file and it's gonna start at the playhead. I think it should. I don't know if it's settings in, or the preferences in my particular project, but just be aware of that. So I'm gonna animate label along feature. Now I can specify how many seconds I want the animation to take. Now this is important because um, each of these, if I go back to my activities here, you can see each of these routes, I have five of them. They're all slightly different times. You know, this one 36 minutes, this one 43, 44, 42. So I want them to animate, you know, relative. I don't want them to all match. So an easy way to do this is I'm just gonna convert the minutes into seconds since they'll all be under well, one minute if I do that. So this one was 42 minutes. So I'll just do 42 seconds, create the animation. And now you can see I've got a little map marker here. And you know what, it's looking pretty terrible. I don't, let me, if to get this to pop more, let me delete that. Um, I'm gonna go back and let me just change the color to maybe white, 42 seconds. Okay, and now I can grab this map comp and just bring the opacity down to like 75 just to make it pop out a little. I suck at design. Now check it out. We got our little icon moving. And if I grab the label template, hit the U key, you can see the keyframes. Very, very cool. So I'm not liking this whole, you know, first maybe I can zoom in a bit here. Now you notice as I'm zooming in, this is kind of scaling down. So it, this is an actual 2D layer. So there's a lot of uh, customization options here that we can do to get it to look the way that we want. I want this to be uh, slightly, give it like a 3D look. So I'm gonna go to the map comp here in the GeoLayers panel. I'm gonna hold the right mouse key and grab it, and that, and that way I can change the pitch here. So I'm gonna pitch it down like this and change the bearing a little bit. And now you can see it changed this. However, if you look, our marker's still sticking up here. And that's pretty cool. It, looks, it gives it like this 3D look, but it's actually a 2D layer. You know, we changed, we're, we're, we're pivoting the map comp um, but not that particular layer. So if you go to the effect controls panel and you grab the label, so you have scale with map, rotate with map, rotate along path. So if I click on scale with map, you can see that scaled that up. And that's because it's um, keeping that, wh when I applied the actual label, it was a bit zoomed out. So scale with map, if you want it to stay um, the same size relative to the map. So if the map's scaling up, you want the label to scale up with the map, click scale with map. And then you can rotate with map as well and rotate along path. But as I click those, you see nothing happens. That's because you actually have to turn this into a 3D layer to make those take effect. So if I toggle the switches here, click this to 3D, now you can see something's going on. It actually rotated with the map, it's flat with the map, and it's actually rotating, like auto-orienting um, with the path here. So 
check out what we can do now. This gives you a little more uh, leeway here. So if I hit the R key for rotation, I have all these different rotation options. I'm going to set X rotation to 90. That's going to pop that up like that. So now I have this label that's kind of cranking along. So if we want it to turn, you know, if we had like an actual little car, like an actual car and we want it to move, we could rotate along the path. But I don't actually like it rotating along the path. So I'm going to turn that off. And what's cool about this is we give it more of a realistic 3D look. And if I want it to spin, if I want to change the rotation here, you know, make it offset it a little bit, I have the power to do that now. Very, very cool. I could even have it uh, looping rotation on the Y axis. It's not always going to be like a flat 2D layer pointing at the camera, unless that's what you want. So it's all, it's all you know, preference here. So now I've applied this one, I can, uh, if I like the look and the style of this, I can apply all the others. The important thing is that I look at this one and make sure that it's the right size, make any changes to that custom label template. So that when I apply the, that, so that way it just makes life easier when I'm going to apply, when I'm using all those other GPX files to animate the labels, I don't have to go in and, and, and ch make changes to each individual one, like scale or whatever it may be. Okay, and you know what? I'm going to go ahead and delete this one. Now I'm just going to go ahead and bring all the other data files in. So I'm just going to quickly reference these. Um, let's see, animate label along feature. This one is 42 seconds. Okay, this one is 36 seconds. So after finalizing, I realized that I really didn't like the look of this map profile, so I quickly switched over to another one to get some different looks. And as a final step, I added a vignette, some noise, and a little fake depth of field look. Okay, so there you have it. Those are some animated routes uh, using GeoLayers, Strava, Adobe After Effects, very, very fun. I created another tutorial where I did like a walking tour using Strava and animated that because I wanted to show the boundaries of like Old Town Limo. And uh, these are really fun projects. I, love, I just love visualizing different parts of this city because again, I, I just recently moved here and it's so much fun just looking at a map or creating these animated maps to help see, you know, what's going on where. If you want to see more tutorials like this, where I go out and I record some data and then, and then animate that data, uh, let me know down in the comments section. I think I'm going to kind of start gearing the Monday Maps more towards this type of content where I can actually go out more field-based. Alright, I'll see you in the next one.